well good morning welcome to another video on the channel i'm absolutely knackered <laughs> oh i nearly didn't bother coming out if i'm honest with you it's been an absolutely ridiculous week at work i've struggled with a couple of migraines and i just feel ruined i mean it's half past eight in the morning so it's not like i've got up ridiculously early I couldn't get up ridiculously early. I didn't even set an alarm. I just thought I'll get up and then go. So, what am I doing? Well, it's freezing cold. It is, where's the temperature? Zero degrees, so Baltic. So I didn't really know what to do. The plan was originally to go to somewhere and sort of fish with the feeder and the float and uh, try and get sort of a mixed bag, but I didn't see the point in spending you know, money and time when it's this cold. Um, I just thought I'd try something sort of local. So I am at Seven Lakes, Seven Lakes Fishery uh, in Aldermaston, which is up the road from my house, and I'm a bailiff here as well. So um, I thought I'd give law fishing a bit of a go. Now, I know there's some decent perch in here. There are some nice pike in Lake Six, but Lake Six is normally even when it's this cold, busy, as it's the sort of the, the main carp lake. Uh, lake Seven, which is to my right-hand side here, also gets quite busy. Uh, that does have some nice perch in it, so if it's not too busy, then I could fling a lure around a little bit, but if there's a few anglers on there, I won't bother. I'll just head straight up to the top of the complex and fish on lakes one, two, five. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Oh, that shouldn't have been that difficult to work out, should it? Oh, so, yeah, I mean, it may or may not happen. It is blooming cold. But um, I'll fling a lure around for a little while. I'm only going to do a couple of hours, so this will probably be quite a short video. But if I can get a fish or two, I'll be a happy man. So let's get the kid out and get sorted. <laughs> I'm going to give Lake Seven a go first, but only on one swim because there are anglers down the other end and on the other side. So I'll literally give one swim a go. I mean, it's a decent looking swim. It's got a little bit of water trickling in. So um, we'll give that a go for a little bit. See if there's anything at home. So for the perch got two setups with me. A slightly heavier one, which is a drop shot rod with a sort of two and a half inch lure. And then the ultralight, which has got a uh, tiny little lure on. And that's the one I'm going to try first. Let's see if there's anything at home. people on the opposite bank and there's people down the far end the last thing I want to be doing is casting over anglers lines so we'll have a walk down past lake six don't expect there's going to be much room on there 
not enough room for me to get the pike, bring the pike rod with me anyway, because that's the only lake with a kind of realistic chance of catching one. Oh, I'm naked now. But, um, we'll head down towards Lake 5. Four, three, two, one. And have a look at some likely swims for perch. Now, I know where I've had them out of in the past. Nothing huge, but fish is fish. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can find. I'll try over there that little inlet pipe as well. As you can tell, it's cold and there's not much movement because it's actually fairly clear in the margins, anyway. Well, we'll do what I normally do start with the little fella, see if I can entice a little, uh, a little wasp, and then uh, move on to the the bigger law if uh, if I feel the need. I want to see if there's anyone home here. Seven Lakes is a, a lovely little complex. As it says in the name, there are seven lakes. With a good range of species. Predominantly lake six and seven are the uh, are the carp lakes, but there are carp in the other lakes as well. Lake Five's actually got a decent stock, but you've got your silvers in most lakes. Ooh. I don't know if that was a bite or if I just hit a bit of weed or something. I think I'm hitting weed. But yeah, the upside is for a sil you know, an angler who likes silver fishing and law fishing, is you normally get lakes one to five to yourself. Not many people fish them at all, really. Very underfished. So you can have a good little wander around and be at complete peace most of the time. Get the odd dog walker coming around, but that's about it. It's very, 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 very relaxing. Ah, nothing much happening at this point. I'll show you this quickly, this little law. I think it's a fox pro grub. Is it a pro grub? No, they're the bigger ones. I know it's a little fox one anyway. I don't know if it's called a fire tiger or if that's the red colored one. But this little thing is my go-to. It catches me perch. Absolutely everywhere. And if you can't, in my opinion, when I fish with it anyway, if I can't catch with that, I'm probably not gonna catch with anything. I do chop and change here and there, but that's the one for me, for, for all round catching little perch. So, um, but it's not working at the moment. I may give it a little change later on if I literally get nothing on it at all. I'm going to head over there now to where the, uh, there is an inlet and some water coming in. It might be a good area. Let's give that a go.
not a lot happened there. This could be one of those videos where not a lot happens. Another blanking video, which is all the rage for 2023, I think. Especially on my channel anyway. I think I've only had two sessions this year where I've actually caught something. But it is nice to show that, you know, people don't catch all the time. It is normal to blank, because there's many people out there that do, but wouldn't show it. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, I don't mind. I'm just happy being out. It's beautiful outside. It's cold, really cold, but I like that. I would much rather be walking around, frilling in a lure around in the freezing cold weather than sat down behind rods in the boiling hot sun. I mean, I've done that as well, and I'll be doing that this summer. But this is this is a bit of me. I love I love the walking around and the nature, just being outside. It's fantastic. All right, let's see if we can catch one out of this little swim here. I've had them out of here before, so let's uh, let's see. I'm gonna go in with the with the little one to start with. Oh, no worries. No. <laughs> it's just nice to be outside, but sadly there's no fish. <laughs> no, it's better down that end of the complex, but that end of the complex is always really busy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but... I thought I had a fish on. And I think it's my mind playing tricks on me. So I'm sure it fought back. But it was only a stick. <laughs> so it definitely didn't fight back. It was just that moment where I thought, yes. A fish. I'm going to give this one a couple more casts and I am going to change the law. I mean, the water's quite murky, so you want normally something with a bit of colour. I don't know whether I want to go more colour than what I've got on, or something subtle. The law on my other rod is a bit more subtle, to be fair. So I may just give that one a go. It's a bit bigger than this law, though, but... I think even a small fish, even the, the little perch, you'd know because they'd, they'd kind of go for it and just nab the tail, but it'll be a, a positive bite. Which I'm pretty sure I haven't had yet. Just realized actually, I'm stood on the rod. <laughs> right, let's go one more cast. Definitely still a bit of weed about. Alright, let's have a go with this one. Get the mud off that handle. <laughs> I've been stood on it for about five minutes. So, this one, it's a little bit bigger. It's a really nice sort of green colour. I've had a lot of success on these ones as well. So let's hoik that out there and see if anything happens. Well, I've just moved on the swim. It's really shallow in the margins here. Lots of weed, so that's what I keep catching up on. There is a serious amount of weed. Which 
you thought would have died off. We've had a fair amount of cold weather over the last couple of months. But it's still here. I caught myself another cracking stick. Oh yeah, look at that. Ah. <laughs> it sprung off with a hook. Hook went straight into my finger. So I think it was just the luckily, just the um just the jig head slamming into my finger. It doesn't look like the hook did. But luckily obviously it's a marvellous rule here, so the jig heads are crushed anyway. Or the barbs are crushed down anyway. So at least I would have got it out of my finger. Yeah, I think this lake is still very, very choked with weed everywhere. I could feel it on the law. I think when it's when it's summer, when it's warm, I think this lake does get really weedy anyway. So it probably just takes, or just never dies back fully. It's definitely a hell, hell of a lot less weedy than it is in the summer. Well, I'm running out of options, really. Let's go try lake one, I think. Yeah, make one. Oh no, the hook did go in. I can feel a bit of blood coming out now. Oh, it stings. That's not nice. Right, yeah, yeah. Let's head up to Lake One and see if we can get anything out of there. So far as far as catching fish goes that's for sure I mean it's, it is lovely to be outside anyone who's an angler knows that catching fish is just a small part of the adventure as it were you know it's the journey it's the, the looking the walking the oh, it's, it is magical just being around I must admit I love it absolutely love it fish or no fish doesn't bother me and this is probably going to be another video with no fish, which is, uh, yeah, obviously quite a trend in 2023 for me. <laughs> but I like to show people the, you know, the, the aspect of angling, the, what, you know, the, the good and bad. And even the bad is not exactly bad, it's still good. But let's see if we can catch something out of Lake One, where I am now. But there is a hell of a lot of snags in here hell of a lot so we'll see how it goes well that's all i've got time for Time is up. I knew it was only going to be a short one and the chance of catching fish uh, makes it that little bit harder as I'm on very limited time. You know, I only had two hours this morning. It's just one of those things, you know, I try and put out a video every two weeks, try and, you know, sometimes that makes life very difficult. I fish every other weekend most of the time, um, but it just so happens obviously family life gets in the way sometimes and that's absolutely fine, that's, uh, that's normal. Um, it just so happens that today is my day of fishing and you know, we've already got a very busy family day planned and there's not much I could do about that and um, so I do what I can do and uh, it just so happens that today there's no no fish I mean I I could just go to Ashmore 
you know, to, like for a couple of hours this morning and I would have had a hell of a lot of fish. But I try and keep it varied, do different things, different places. Now I know I've been to Seven Lakes before, um, but I knew with limited time, I had to go somewhere local and Seven Lakes is only up the road. So it, it kind of made sense to give it a go. And on laws, you know, I could have sat somewhere with a float, but you know, by the time you get all the gear out, go to the swim, set up, you know, you're just limited. You know, you're probably thinking what, 20 minutes, half an hour to get to a swim and set up. So that's an hour gone in, in, in setting up and packing up. So uh, I thought at least if I'm law fishing, I'm, I'm ready as soon as it gets out of the car and I could just wander around. It didn't happen today. That's just one of those things. <sighs> but let's try, hopefully, to catch something on my next trip. And in a couple of weeks or three weeks time, my ticket for Farnham Angling starts. So could be a good year. Hopefully, if all goes to plan. Hasn't gone to plan so far, but <laughs> we can only hope. So thank you very much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. Probably won't be many likes on this video. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.